Welcome, collectors, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium Military Mondays. In today's edition, we will be taking a look at the M577A1 Command Post Carrier, also known as the Command Post Vehicle. This piece of equipment has been in the U.S. Arsenal since 1963. This version is the A1 version, which was introduced in 1964. The main difference between the A1 and the original M557 is that the A1 has a diesel engine that replaced the gas engine, and the A1 has been the mainstay vehicle, which was introduced in 1964. So, taking a look at the model's packaging before we take a look at the model. This is the box. It is made by Herpa Mini Tanks. Now, really, the casting goes back several years under the Rocco Mini Tanks name. This release, the newer release, is under Herpa. This is what the packaging looks like. You can see all of the different accessories that are included with this. Here's the side. Here is the back. Here is the other side. And, of course, the bottom. You can see that this retails in most places for about $20, which is not unreasonable at all. All right. Let's take our attention now, focus back on the model, which we are here for. So the main reasoning for this vehicle and why it was devised is the U.S. military needed a vehicle to fit the role as a mobile command center or a TOC, tactical operations center, in the field. Thus, this vehicle, which is based off of the M113 armored personnel carrier, was introduced by the Food Machinery Company. And... The idea here is you have a relatively secure position that is mobile, that you can have all of the um, officers, typically at the battalion level, all in one place to make battlefield decisions out in the field. So as you can already tell, the main vehicle is based on the M113 armored personnel carrier, and with this kit you also get the tent. Now the tent usually would be folded up on the back of this machine, and you would deploy the tent out in the field when you are ready to stage or set up your TOC or, or your tactical operations center. So the model itself is almost all plastic, as all of these Herpa Mini Tanks models are, but that's not necessarily a bad thing at all because it does give you an opportunity to have a lot of detail on this little casting, and we'll go over this now. So you see the different accessories that are on here. Uh, you have some jerry cans, you have an ammo box, uh, obviously a big rolled up tarp here at the back, which is honestly probably the uh, tent, which would extend out at the back. Here is where the back would open. This hatch would fold down almost exactly like the M113 personnel carrier. Some more accessories on the back as well. Here you have the front, which we have some replacement track links, um, another uh, bogey wheel for your, your, another idler wheel for your tracks, a little shovel up here, and obviously some forward-facing lights. This is what it looks like underneath, which again, I didn't paint tan because you're never going to see what this looks like underneath. Uh, and that brings us back to the tent. So this is the deployable and transportable tent that literally the... Uh, M113 personnel carrier type vehicle, which in this case obviously is designated the M577A1, would simply back up into, and then they would deploy the tent. And as I've said a couple times, you would then have a area to have a mobile command center set up. This Herpa Mini Tanks kit is pretty much already assembled. Um, you do have to put the accessories on. Obviously, you do have to paint it because this kit comes in just a generic green color. It's not a very realistic green color, if I'm honest. Um, so you do have to paint it. I would recommend painting this in Tamiya Desert Sand, light sand. That's what I paint all of my modern era military vehicles in. But obviously, you can paint them in what you wish. Since these have been in service since the early 1960s, they have seen action in pretty much every single conflict that the U.S. has found itself in. So in theory, you could paint these in NATO camouflage, uh, in olive drab, in desert sand, or in the chocolate chip camouflage that we had in the Gulf War. So that will conclude my review of the 187 scale Herpa Mini Tanks M577A1 Command Post Carrier. Certainly a very specified vehicle, but one that you definitely need if you're trying to build up your fleet of uh, 1A7 or HO scale military vehicles. It's a great kit, looks excellent alongside some Abrams, some Bradleys, and some traditional 
M113 uh, personnel carriers. As always, I picked up this kit from my good friends at smallscalehobbies.com, and without them, Military Mondays on this channel would not be possible. So visit smallscalehobbies.com for all of your HO scale military needs. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be safe, be well. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. I'll see you all in the next review.